Good morning, this is Pat Walker, Mission Winners. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, for those that celebrate, Merry Christmas to you. Happy Holidays. Hope it's a good weekend for everybody. And it is a three-day weekend, which is nice. Enjoy it. I encourage you. I've been doing this a long time. Get away from the computers. Uh, don't spend a three-day weekend locked in front of computers. It's good to recharge. It's like the great quote from Abraham Lincoln. If I had eight hours to chop down a tree, I'd spend six hours sharpening my axe. Sharpening our axes, get away from it. Get away from the machines a little bit. Anyway, here we go. This is the ETF list. Why do we look at the ETFs? It's not because we'd like to look at a bunch of charts. It's because we can see industry group themes. Remember this. Leading groups produce leading stocks. Leading stocks produce leading groups or ETFs, indexes. So here we go. U.S. Robotics. You can see this little base that formed here on the weekly. This is weekly on the left, daily on the right. You can see this and it formed a little handle right here. And I've drawn it on the daily chart and it made a decent lift. Not a massive lift, but that's something to look for. Focus, folks, I'm really big on this. Focus on clean and simple bases. It'll make your life better, easier. Cloud computing slowly grinding up and you can see this formed a little base right here and it, there's the handle right here and it lifted off. What does that say to you? Well, there's two ETFs that are involved in technology. I'm not saying buy them now, but by looking at doing this work that we did, we do this every week, you can see themes before they happen, okay? You can see stocks breaking out or getting ready to break out. And we're always prepared. Continue onwards. This is the leveraged ETF for the dime for the Dow Diamonds. And it's slowly grinding up too. Tells us the market's acting decent. IBD 50's improved a little bit. Still some overhead over here on the weekly, okay? But it's steadily grinding up. It shows the rallies, you know, spread out in several different areas. First Trust Dorsey's right, Dorsey right technology. It's working up nicely. You can see this longer base right here. I'll draw this for you to help you. Focus on just, you know, let's get this done. This is close enough. There you go. Going across these tops. See that high here right here at 4880? That corresponds right in here, folks. There's 4880 right there. There it is. 4881. Same line. And look what it did. Now, this is an important lesson for everybody. It's already made a move. Do not chase extended stocks. I'm saying it again. Buy, at the cl buy close to the pivot or don't buy at all because you open yourselves up to bigger losses. You could buy this here and it would have to fall all the way down really to around 48.80 before it's a failure on the weekly. Do you want to do that? I don't think so. So let's continue onwards. Here we go. Gold miners started to rally up, gapped up, rallied up, and then reversed and cl closed near the lows. That is a, that's a sell signal. That's, there's, they sold into it. Wait for a better um, base to form here, okay? Nothing to do with it at this point in time. It, by the way, it's good to know what to look for to buy, and it's just as important to know what to look for to avoid. Opposite sides of the same coin, and that's power for us. Gold's doing the same thing, bit of a tail bar. Bi Biotechnology's picking up a little bit. You can see here on the daily, this is why we do this. You look at the daily and go, oh, it's kind of been going up. Here's the weekly. And what do you see here? And I'll draw this for you, just to help. It's just a clean and simple flat line. There it is. Perhaps it'll lift off and take off on IBB. Always be careful with biotechnology. That's why I do like the ETFs more, because you're diversified. You don't own just one biotechnology stock. One biotechnology stock could come out with bad news and blow up. It can happen. I'm not saying it's going to, but it has before. Just, you know, they're cutting edge technology. So that's where that's at. Let's continue onwards. Uh, oil and gas is lagging. I mean, look at this. Oh, that looks pretty good. It's grinding on up. There's nothing there. Leave oil and gas alone. Energy. Uh, software technology has been acting good. And we're involved. We've been heavily involved in all kinds of, I think we, we own like 27, 28 stocks right now that are moving up in the, primarily in the technology area. Okay. And it's working. Nothing to do with it now. Don't chase price. Buy right, sit tight. The spot to buy was across here. All right, 369, which corresponds right in here. But there's nothing there at this point in time. It's too extended. Don't chase price. Uh, medicine is picking up a little bit. Tells us the rally's decent. Mid-cap's picking up some. Tells us the rally's spread out. Aerospace and defense has been picking up. Tells us the rally's been spreading out. Home building has been... 
home building's been really good to us. Do you see this base on the weekly? And here it is on the daily. And we own this right in here. That is a good move. There you go. Is there anything to do with it now? Well, look at this. It's forming another little base. By the way, you'll notice, yeah, I already have the alert set. There you go. I'm ready for more. That could be a new buy, but go smaller because it's a bit extended. All right, just laying that out for you. We always have a plan. It's got a bad data point. It's nothing really good. We'll leave that alone at this time. Small caps. What's this tell us? You see the break on IWM right there? And look at the volume pickup on that bar. I say this frequently. People talk with their mouths and vote with their pocketbooks. They voted on this bar and it's made a decent move. And what is it telling us? It was telling us back here. Hey, the rally's spreading out into other areas. There you go. Don't chase price up here now. Okay, it's too extended. Resale, a real estate, picking up a little bit here, forming a small shelf, maybe, maybe it'll form a handle and take off. Transportation, here's the daily. You can say, oh, that looks okay. Here's the weekly. Now, what do you see here? See, maybe a cup with a handle for me. What's the takeaway as we're going through this? Well, there's pockets of strength in many different areas. It's, shell, it's telling us the rally is not narrow. It's spread out to many areas. There's strength in many areas. That's good to know. By the way, when I say that, please don't go crazy and buy everything in the world. Please. It has every stock that we buy has to earn the right for us to buy it. Okay. Airlines picking up a little bit here. Not no real clean entry at this point in time, but they act, they act okay. Regional banking's acting okay. It's nice when the financials are acting okay, as you can see. Mid-cap's been acting okay. Tells us the rally spread out to other areas. Oil services, another energy ETF that's lagging. What's that tell us? Better stay away from energy. Pharmaceuticals are picking up a little bit, but here's a good telltale lesson for us. It's rallying up on decreasing volume. Be careful with that, okay? It's lacking, the power is dropping off. Here's QLD. There was a good base here on the weekly. Lift it off. And it's slowly grinding up. What was this telling us? Oh, you could buy QLD, but it also tells you something else. Back in here, hey, you could look at some of those big NASDAQ stocks. And yeah, we were involved with quite a few of them, okay? And it was just telling us. There you go. QLD. I love looking at QLD. And you'll see the next one. Here's QQQ, the same thing. RTH, retailing, acting decent. Retailers are okay. Silver, there's nothing there. I mean, look. Oh, that looks pretty good. There's nothing there. Just leave it alone. Avoid silver. Steel's picked up a little bit. That looks a little better. Do a compare and contrast. Nothing's really going on there. Oh, that doesn't look too bad with steel. Maybe looking at some steel stocks. Semiconductors acting decent. And we're involved with some semiconductors. It's told us. It told us back in here. It told us right here with this cup with a high handle. And it told us right here, breaking through the space. And I'll draw it for you to help you. My goal at Mission Winners is to help people train their eyes and mind on what to look for. Clean and simple bases. Doesn't need to be the cup and a handle, please. I was an IBD Meetup Code leader for years. It doesn't have to be the, it's a fine, it's a fine platform to buy, okay? I'm not knocking it at all. But if you just wait, I will tell you this folks, and I used to say this on the stage. If you just wait for the cup and handle and nothing else, you'll starve to death, okay? You got to master and hone and own a couple of other setups. The mission winners, we teach several different setups and we do them over and over and over. So forming a small handle there, maybe something worth watching, semiconductors, but it does show leadership. Continue on where the spiders acting good. The S&P 500, SSO leveraged, acts fine, working. Solar, you can say, well, that looks pretty good at highs. Solar, folks, I mean, it lifted off here. There is a ton of overhead supply in this, which means there's also a ton of overhead supply in solar stocks. So be careful with that. That's good to know. Excuse me, I'll get rid of that. Let's continue onwards. Small caps, the small cap ETF like IWM, acting decent, tells us the rally spreading out. Uh, uranium's a little choppy up there, okay? I mean, it goes up, it goes down, it goes up. It's, it's chopping around here. Be careful with that. When you see choppy charts, stay away because this is dad humor for you. You can get chopped up. How about that? My kids would shake their head. My grandkids would shake their heads. Here we go. Oil is lagging. Energy. Stay away. Done. Move on. By the way, I wasn't being cute and cavalier there. It's just we don't have to overthink it. 
It's below all the moving averages. It's falling. There's nothing there. Buy strength. Don't look for the bottom. Please. That's like an ego game, okay? Just get in line with what is. It'll help you. I'm, I've been doing this a long time, so I just... No ego, just get in line with what is. Consumer, um, consumer discretionary, slowly grinding up nicely. You could maybe look into some of these. I love the ticker symbol for this. Look at that, VCR, consumer discretionary. Some people go, I don't even know what a VCR is. <laughs> oh gosh, I feel old. Okay, never mind. Here we go, picking up. Yeah, let's get a, let's get a videotape. People go, what is that? Okay, slowly grinding up. It does tell us there's some leadership in that group. Aerospace and Defense acts decent, and it has for a while. It was a base breakout down here, and it's slowly grinding up. It's a bit extended, but it did tell you back here, hey, you might want to look at some aerospace defense stocks. There you go, the leaders. Biotechnology, another biotech, looks decent. Biotechnology. Home builders. Oh, man. I showed you another one earlier. Look at this base back here. Look at this base down here. And we, we were buying, I mean, here's the shelf right here. And that's why I think we own at least three, if not four, home building stocks. It was telling us to buy it. There you go. Continue onwards. Materials. How do you build houses? How do you build things? Okay, how do you build homes? I just showed you the home building ETF. How do you do it? Oh, well, I guess, um, you know, you need material. Oh, here's a material ETF. And look at the thing working here. There you go. Now. I'll take you a step further here. Watch this. I drew this line yesterday. We're going to get rid of that line to clean it up. And then we're going to do this. And this is nothing fancy, folks. Get it right. There it is. Just a simple flat line, folks. There's nothing fancy about it. But that's a long weekly base, folks. This is weekly. This is daily. Perhaps. And here's the daily. What's it need to do? Take out these tops on the daily and do it with volume. Okay, that could be something to look into. But always remember this, and this is something I'm big on, emission winners is controlling risk. Price is good above the line and bad below. No day trading. I don't look at five minute charts. I hardly ever look at 10 minute charts unless I'm looking for an entry early in the morning of something that's pushing through and looking for volume. I'm looking for volume. Focus on the weekly and the daily simple lines and look for volume through the pivot. Okay, volume means, and this is an important lesson for everybody, volume means other people see what we see and they are buying. We want that. We can't move the stock. We need others seeing it and acting on it too. And it is measured by price action backed by volume. And it's just common sense, but most people, a lot of people don't think that through. There you go. So that's a decent base there on XLB. It is a little bit extended to get up to the pivot. It'd be nice if it base a little bit longer, but it doesn't look bad up here. So let's see what happens. Communications is acting decent, and it has told us, hey, you can be involved in some communication stocks. Energy, another energy TF, really lagging. Lagging on the weekly, lagging on the daily. What's it tell you? Stay away from energy. It's that simple. Well, maybe it's going to make the turn. Why play the maybe game when we see things that are acting strong now? Why not stick with that? There we go. Financials are acting decent. Look at that. That's good. When financials are acting decent, that's good for the market. Okay? That's good to see. Industrials are acting decent also. That's good for the market. Technology is acting decent. That's good for the market. Consumer staples, that, that one's lagging a little bit. Do a compare and contrast. Well, that doesn't look, watch. Oh, well, that doesn't look too bad. That doesn't look too bad. I'm looking at the daily. Oh, well, that doesn't look too bad. Oh, well, that's... It's okay, but it's not as strong as the other ones. So what does that say? Stick with the best of the best. This isn't that strong at this point in time. This is the daily, but then look at the weekly. That's why I do this side by side. You look here and say, that don't look bad. And then you look at the weekly and go, that don't look so good. There you go. That's power for you. This is fun. I love this. You know what it is? Yeah, we can say, oh, it's financially rewarding, but it's also something else. It's mentally stimulating. It's challenging. It's like, what do I look for? Now, what do I do? I know that more times than not, this is what works. That's our edge. But we'll always control risk if it doesn't. It's just, a, it's, I don't want to minimize it and say, oh, it's an exciting game. But it is. It's very exciting. It's more serious than a game, okay? I'm not minimizing that, please. We're talking about money. 
But just take those things and take them into consideration. Mindset's the biggest part of this game, folks. I've got degrees in psychology. Mindset, okay? Mindset. What's between your ears? Here we go. Consumer discretionary. Pick it up. There you go. Looks decent. Trending. Metals and mining. Pick it up. Looks decent. Trending. Energy. There's nothing there. I mean, look at, look at this. Oh, that weekly, that daily doesn't look too bad. Oh, that weekly, that daily doesn't look too bad. Oh, that weekly, that daily doesn't look too good. <laughs> Do you see that? What does it say? In one second, it says, I think I'm staying away from energy. That's great to know. It's good to know what to look for, to concentrate on, and it's just as powerful to know areas to avoid. There we go. Continue onward. Retail's acting decent, another retail ETF. That's nice to see. Software's acting decent. We're about with software. You can see why. It's trending up. Nothing to do with it, but note the trend of the ADMA. I need to back up here and share something with you. There's years of research in these moving averages. The 50-day, simple. Everybody knows about it. This is the 21-day exponential, and this is the eight-period exponential. There's a couple of years of research and back testing on this. And an individual that really had an influence on me with this, Ed Sakota with the five period exponential, he was doing commodities. He, what a great guy. I mean, I, I met him years ago and man, did he challenge me. I'll share this with you. Many of you haven't heard this. We're talking one-on-one. -on -one. And every time I said something, he tilt his head back and look through his bifocals and say, why do you think that is? And he wasn't being a jerk. He was challenging me to think it through to think through my concepts. Does it make sense? Just because you believe it, Pat, doesn't necessarily mean it's true. So therefore, why do you think that is? There you go. The man really helped me. If you don't know who Ed Sakota is, look him up, Google him, S-E-Y-K-O-T-A. Look at the returns he got. Take a look. You will be amazed. So anyway, got off on a tangent there, but there's XSY software. XSW, excuse me, acting decent tells us softwares, and now we're back up to the top. Anyway, that's an ETF overview for you. What's the big takeaway? The rally spread out into several different areas. There's strength in those areas. It's not a narrow advance. At Mission Winners, we constantly show and teach patterns, and there's not too many you need to master for entry. So we're gonna go through them. Here we go. We always frame up the indices first, the spiders, weekly on the left, daily on the right. I think that's important to look at both. You can see the weekly, this kind of had a little cup and a handle formation. You go on the daily and go, oh, it's just kind of lifting up. But when you frame it up against the weekly, you can see why it was on the list, okay? And why it did what it did. Continue onwards. SSO, same situation. Simple base, this is the S&P 500 leveraged and it's trending up on the daily. It just tells you to get in line with the trend. QQQ, same situation, basing, formed a little high level handle right here, taking out these tops, and that corresponds right with this here. And it's lifted off. It's in good shape. So what does that tell us? Well, let's do one more here real quick. What does it tell us? That there's strength in the rally. It's not narrow. There's a lot of areas that are acting decent. That's good to know. That's knowledge that can help us make better decisions as far as A, being safe, or be becoming a little bit more aggressive. There we go. Continue onwards. IWM, same situation. You can say, gosh, there's not too much here on the weekly. There was a little base down here, but then you look at the daily and you go, oh, that was a good base. And it lifted through. This is why we look at the weekly charts and the daily charts side by side. It really helps us. Same thing's true with MDY, looking at both weekly and daily. Now, we just looked at the major index ETFs. What does it tell us? Well, very quickly, it just tells us the rally is spread out. It's not narrow. They're not just buying one little section. They're buying a bunch of big cap stocks, mid cap stocks, small cap stocks. That's good to know. Let's continue onwards. There's TNA, the small cap leveraged. It's even picked up a little bit. There was a little low level base right here. Here's the daily or the weekly. And there's the daily shelf. And I'll draw this for you. Train our eyes and minds on what to look for. And you can say, yeah, it just kind of going sideways. Excuse me. It just kind of going sideways. But look when it took out that shelf. Look at the volume pickup on that bar. On this bar, the stock did 16.6 .6 million shares. 37 million. It did more than double the previous bar on the daily. P 
People talk with their mouths and vote with their pocketbooks. They voted. There we go. It's, and there, again, it indicates the reality spread out. This is the leveraged one. Now, there's no edge in buying it up here. There's no spot, but it was a good start. There you go. Continue onwards. Now let's look at the stocks. These are the max list stocks. I love these stocks. Here's Apple. It's really not doing much of anything. It has a, formed a big cup here, okay? And maybe it's forming a handle right here. Here's one thing that's constructive. It's falling in price, as you can see, and I'll draw this for you to help you. It's falling in price, and it's doing it on steadily decreasing volume. What does that tell us? Common sense. The selling pressure isn't that heavy. That means possibly it could get a bounce here. So that's something to look for with Apple, max list stock. Continue onwards. <clears throat> well, by the way, I need to be really specific here. This needs to lift off and it needs to lift off, bouncing off the rising 21 day in a good market and it needs to do it with volume. Let's continue onwards here. There's Amazon. Amazon we own from lower and it's just working. It's forming a little pennant right here, up on heavy volume here, less volume here, pulls back, okay, but we're in good shape with it. Now, could this bounce off the ADMA? Yes, if you noticed, I already have price alert set, up alert, down alert. I would love this to go sideways a couple of days and then take off. Now, I need to pause here and share something. Next week is a holiday shortened week. It's the last week of the year. Frequently, the action gets relatively quiet. I'm not saying it's going to. I don't know the future, but I just go by historical precedent, all right? So don't force buys, okay? Remember that. Things can be a little thinner. Just get in line with what is leading groups, leading stocks, max list stocks. That's why we do what we do. We run it like a business. So Amazon doesn't look too bad, all right? Let's continue onwards. Alibaba, do a compare and contrast. You go, oh, the weekly on this doesn't look too bad on Amazon. The daily doesn't either. Okay, then you go to Alibaba. There's nothing here. You say, oh, maybe it's going to turn. Why look for the maybe when we can find higher probabilities in stocks that are already strong. There's no power here. There's nothing really to do with it at this point in time. Leave it alone. The same thing's true with Baidu. Just leave it alone for right now. <clears throat> now, Google. See this downward sloping trend line on the weekly? Corresponds with the same line on the daily, and it lifted off. We're in Google, okay? And you can see these tops right here. Basing, by the way, you can tell it. I already have price alerts set, upper alert and lower alert. If this starts to take out these tops, that could be a new buy or an add-on on Google. Okay, there we go. But remember, volume will be thinner next week. Be aware of that. But the base is good. Goldman Sachs, look at the weekly base down here. Here's the dailies. And look, look at this move. That's what you'll look for. Focus on that, and it's great. But now let's take it a step further. So, well, that's the past. I'll show you something. You see right here? Watch this. You'll like this. This is fun. You've got yourself a big cup, and it's forming a little handle here on the weekly, and it's forming a handle on the daily. By the way, if you noticed, see that little green hash mark? I already have price alert set. I'll drop it a little bit. I already have price alert set on this. This is a decent looking pattern, something to take into consideration for next week. Am I saying it's going to break out? No, but I do know this after looking at a lot of charts and you all are the same. You know what to look for. You know what to look for. Best setup going, clean and simple flat bases. Love them. Continue onwards, you'll probably see a couple more. Oh, there's a clean and simple flat base. Look at that. And look at the breakout here on a pickup in volume. On this bar, the stock did 24.6 million shares. 45.5 million shares, almost 19 million, 20, more, 20 million more shares. They bought it. And look at the voting in there. It did it. So now what's, and by the way, yes, this is owned, okay? Is there anything to do with it? Well, there's a short base right here. Hold on, let me correct that. It's still trending, we just have to leave it alone. It's working, just let it work. Trends pay. Let, let the stock work for you instead of your fingers. I, it'll make a huge difference, promise. I promise, I was a guy who you, decades ago, I'd buy this and say, gosh, this is pretty good. I'm not pretty good. I think I'm gonna take that gain. That's good. And then I miss more runs. Learn from my mistakes. Sell some into strength and ride trends. There you go, it's hanging in fine. 
MasterCard, it's okay, okay? It's kind of wedging up here, but it's not really clean and simple at this point in time. So be cautious with it, just for what it's worth. Meta, clean and simple basis down here, down here. We owned this, we bought this down here, around 135, 135 up to 350. Do the math. That's 200 points, folks. Now, it based here, ran up, pulls back. It based again here and was bought. It's continuing. If this takes out these highs, we may add to it. Looks good. We're in good shape. We're letting it work. By the way, I'll draw this for you just to train our eyes and minds. And again, don't think it's got to be perfectly flat. That's pretty darn close, though. And people talk with their mouths and look at their po po with their pocketbooks. Decent volume on this bar when it approached that line and then it pushed through on decent volume. And it's working. We're in good shape with those shares up there. We'll see what happens. Word to the wise. It needs to form another base up here of some sort before we buy more. Don't chase price, please. Microsoft, nice base here on the weekly, nice base here on the daily. Take out these tops right here, that could be a buy. If the market's okay and there's volume. The M in mission winners, folks, the M, the first letter, markets. Markets, industries, sectors, stocks. That's why we do the ETFs, the markets, the industries, the sectors, and we narrow it down to the stocks. Institutional support, outstanding management, our outstanding product, our outstanding service, and the N in mission to me is the most important letter. Never say never. Never say never. Mindset. Keep going. Keep going. Refine those skills. It's there for you. It's what we teach. Netflix is good. Own it. Gosh, we owned it down here and here and here. Ran up here, then it fell, we locked that in, okay? Big cup and handle on the weekly, as you can see. If this could start to lift off, and I'll do this right here. Set the alert right there. There it is. By the way, this is something very important. This is my service to everybody. You, I know you have hotkeys on your keyboard, okay? Don't be using the mouse all the time. Oh, I gotta put it right here. You know, you find the, you see where that price alert is? Well, I think I want to wait for this. Just set it there, control A, it's in. Oh, maybe that's not where I want it. I want it right there. Put your line right there, control A, done. I know you have hotkeys, use them. It makes life easier. We're in good shape. I might add to this if it takes this out. Let's continue onwards. There's NVIDIA. Oh, NVIDIA has been good to us. Wow, I mean, the first buys were down here on January, right here. The week of January 13th, the day was January 9th. And that is, that's a monster move. And it's basing again. What's it doing here, folks? Here's the weekly, it's forming a cup with a handle. Here's the daily, and there's a cup and a handle on the daily. I like that. See the price alerts are set? If this starts to take this off, okay, take these tops out with good volume and a good market, that could be a new buy or an add-on in NVIDIA. We'll watch and see what happens. By the way, yeah, I already have price alerts set. Okay, we're ready. Tesla started to go and backed off. Notice this, this is a good lesson. It runs up and it fades off. That's a tail bar. It runs up and it fades off. That's a tail bar. It did it again Friday. What does that tell us? There's a seller up there. What's it need to do? It needs to take out these tops and do it on really good volume. Oh, and yes, don't forget, it's a max list stock. I love this stock. A lot of money has been made on this stock over the years, okay? But we wait for it to set up, and we have price alerts already set, and we'll be ready. Let's continue onwards. Visa is just basing. There was a level down here that it pushed through. It's basing right here. It's forming a high-level handle. There's not a lot of power in it at this point in time, so just be careful with it, you know, at the moment. And then we go back up to the top. Anyway, that's an overview of the max list. I look at this list a couple of times a day. And I will tell you this, if I only had one list of stocks to look at, it's the max list. I love those stocks. I'm not trying to sell you on the idea. No, no, I don't do that. I'm just pointing it out. It's a great go-to list. There's years of work in that list. It didn't just come together. A lot of toil and trouble to put it together. And I share it with you. I hope it helps you. And have a wonderful um, holiday if you celebrate. And a wonderful three-day weekend if you don't. Just, just enjoy it. Just enjoy it. Spend time with family and friends and um, recharge. It's good for us. Thank you so much.